Oh, yes, he is. This is really good to see. Oh my, this isn't where good to see All Might back in true, like, hero form. Right? Some, uh... <laughs> Exposition there, some fourth wall breaking. But I've heard this is a special episode, right? This breaks the normal course of events. Do you know the best way to save people? With love! I don't understand! Oh, is that right? You gotta learn to let loose. You're working hard, but you should have fun when you can. So let's go beyond your existing story arc. <laughs> I like it. At least it's self-aware. Where can I get these t-shirts, by the way? They're they're kind of awesome. I kind of need Now cue those them. opening credits! No! Thank you, All Might. It feels so good. <laughs> That was unexpectedly wholesome. So yeah, that was, I guess, their way of letting the audience know that this is not a part of the current story arc. This is a special episode. I don't remember what exactly it's for. I think it's for a certain cause. If I remember correctly, it goes into All Might's backstory somewhat, which is really exciting for me. One of the biggest surprises for me about the show has been All Might and the way he's been treated, you know, because it's this interesting thing where he's been developed as this amazing ultimate hero, right? But we really haven't seen that much, you know? Most of what we see of him is through other characters' eyes, which is kind of awesome in its own way. But I think me as the viewer, like a lot of the, you know, the characters in the show, sort of just assume that he's just going to be around. You know, he's going to be around for a long time and he's undefeatable and he's this unstoppable force for good. And then, you know, all of a sudden in season three, he's just gone power wise, which is a bold choice that I really respect. And in some ways makes the whole thing a little bit more heart rendering. You know what I mean? I mean, what have we really seen? You know, we've seen clips as a result of Deku's obsessive YouTube behaviors. We saw the USJ incident, which was awesome. And we saw the fight against All for One, which really was a fight between two people who were past their prime. So if this is going to go into some All Might backstory. I'm all for that. End of July before training camp. Okay. Well, so much for seeing All Might at his best form. You're on TV right now. Some kind of retrospective. When is All Might not in TV? Oh, there we go. Just how did this should All be good. Might, the symbol of peace, become the number one hero in the world? Let's find let's out. Let's take a look back on his yes, time let's. studying abroad in America. Yes. I would love to see the American adventures. We saw a little bit of it in Two Heroes, right? But... It's from your young age. Oh, we got a fan. Well spotted. Yep. Oh, well, thanks. I've been a fan of All Might since I <laughs> was just a little kid. I mean, to be fair, who who hasn't? In this world, I feel like you're either a super fan who just loves All Might with all your heart, or you're just the, you know, the biggest hater of all time and are just super jealous. And when you think about it, those two things are not that different. Well, aren't you an inspiration? I mean, understatement no, of the... All. Could he look more smug? Millennium. <laughs> I mean, give him some, give him some credit. He kind of deserves it. Let the man have a victory lap, you know what I mean? Dave... It's been far too long, my friend. Maybe this is when Two Heroes came out, the movie. An email is here. An email is here. I have a few notes about my costume. <laughs> Not to worry, everything is ready. We gotta <laughs> pause for my special visitor. <laughs> Let's teach those wannabe pros Oh, Melissa, right, right, right. Hero. This is very connected to Two Heroes. Special episode, save the world with love. Show us how it's done, All Might. Today, it will be the six of you. This is a stacked so, team no, if I ever saw one. Harder than a regular class. Hard to think of a <laughs> better dream team. In this master class, you'll be tasked with saving innocent bystanders and capturing a villain. Huh? This is a great fit for where they currently are in the story because that's exactly what they're doing, right? They're doing the rescue exercises against Orca Gang. Now that's a master class I would pay for. <laughs> we're not just studying. We're the eyes out one hero master class, unbeatable value. You six will be dispatched to a scene and will need to determine what happened there. Whether or not Locking the villain's actually at fault. Whether or not the villain's at fault. That's an interesting sentence. Welcome your instructors. I am here sneaking into the back door. <laughs> that is a interesting entrance for All Might. A man of interesting entrances sneaking in through the back door. There's been an attack in this jewelry store. The employees and customers have been taken hostage and are barricaded inside. Excuse me, Mr. Aizawa. Our teachers, are they playing the roles of hostages or villains? I won't be answering questions. Verify Aww. the situation yourself and act accordingly. There's always that kid in class, right, who just asks a million questions. And I feel like they get made fun of, but but secretly everyone needs them. Because they're the ones asking questions everyone else is too afraid to ask. It's really funny and also kind of cool in the show to think about my impressions of the characters in the beginning to now. I think one of the aspects of the show that draws me in the most is that the characters develop in a way that's compelling and feels not like this episodic thing where they have a challenge that episode, right? Like they're, they have a trajectory as characters, which is really cool. And Ida is someone who I've really come to love 
despite having sort of a, a harsh reaction to it at first. And I think that might not be the most uncommon reaction to him, just because I think at first he comes across as this like everything by the book, like paint the numbers type of character. But I think the thing about people like that is a lot of times it's it's a good sign. You know, it shows engagement, it shows interest. And that can be seen as a negative, especially in school. People who are actually trying to do well at school and people who are trying to understand school and ask a lot of questions and are really engaged, you know. But the older I get, the more I learn, the more I think like that's actually where it's at. You know, like being able to find that kind of engagement in what you're doing is a sign of let's call it intelligence for lack of a better word. It just speaks really well of him for navigating this world. And with Ida, I feel like there's an extra special color to it because he's not trying to please. In fact, a lot of the time, I feel like he's asking things that are kind of against the grain. You know, he's asking sort of difficult questions like in the intro ceremony. And there's a certain fearlessness about that that I respect as well. And I think one of the ways Ida has been really nicely fleshed out is that over time, he's taken that base of who he is and, you know, having principles and being very strong-willed and having leadership qualities and then connecting it to something more important than just the path he's on. It's to his comrades and friends and brother and doing the right thing and all this stuff. It's really cool to watch. You're a rock on. You go. Me by myself? If we all run in, the villains will notice us. But you can float up to the top window and not get caught. Is this Bakugo, like, working as a team and strategizing? This is sort of amazing. Who is this? The fuzz? All Might's pretending to be the <laughs> I'm a pro He's hero. pretending plus ultra. And you are? This is All Might's chance to get things off his chest based on what he deals with on a constant basis. This is All Might's villain parody. One villain, three hostages. Stay there. Wait for us. It's a good thing they figured out all these hand signals beforehand. It's All Might. That's not All Might. Is it All Might? Did he have a special costume just for this occasion? Is there an action figure I can buy of that? I think there could be a back way inside. Why don't you ask All Might? He seems to be the master of entering through the back door. You guys could save the hostages or whatever. I don't care. You're being <sighs> way too irresponsible. What Tell are you him, talking Sue. about? Weirdly, that's a that's a perfect matchup. I feel like Bakugo actually might have trouble dealing with Sue. I feel like in her calm way, she's someone you don't you don't really mess with. Bakugo can't one up her through force the way he can with some other people. He can't intimidate her. I think he's right there in the window. This is our chance. I have a feeling it's a decoy. Although, how many people really have have a body like All Might? Not that many. It's tough to look this good. Damn it! I won't let you have those hostages. Oh no! Hurry! Is that? Now you get it. You just kill all the police officers? This is the moment when the special class really begins. Wait, is this a murder mystery? The villain was killed? Who done it? <laughs> Detective Sue is on the case. Okay, All Might's still alive. He's playing, but we're supposed to think he's dead. Is it because of Bakugo's blast? No way. There's a knife wound. The police, on the other hand, are dead because of Bakugo's blast. That means whoever killed the villain must still be inside. This is villain cam. It was probably uh, President Mike. I just don't trust that guy. <laughs> Where's Cat Cop when you need him? I feel like he'd crack this case in a few seconds. Yo, yo, my bros. He did it. He did it. <laughs> we need to take a quick look through your wallets and bags. Oh, that's a little bit invasive, but all right. In there? I saw a lot She's of money. A bunch of credit cards and cash. That's highly suspicious in a wallet. Just come out and tell us or else! <laughs> What's the motive? What? The stolen jewelry, you moron! Plus, they're just bad guys! Even if that were the case, isn't it a little too reckless to kill the villain when you're locked in a store? Uh, I, I, I can't move. I can't continue this episode without trying to crack the case based on what I've seen. But do we have all the pieces? It could be that this is an escape plan for All Might. I mean, the villain. How do we know he's really dead? Or is there another villain? One very strange thing about this is, I'm guessing since they questioned the, the hostages, that they didn't see All Might die. And the only reason they wouldn't have seen it, I think, is the smoke from Bakugo's explosion. But how did they know that Bakugo was going to enter in that way? So maybe the villain was winging it or something? Like, he just took advantage of that opportunity? Maybe as an escape attempt? Or maybe all the employees are in on it? I don't know. Any more information? I failed. Sherlock Holmes, I am not. Besides, the criminal dropped the jewelry. Yet no one took the bag. Mm. If the theft wasn't the it's motive, not then about maybe... jewelry? Another conflict? Yeah, if there were two villains in here, right. and during the attack they argued about how to split up the loot, that could be the motive. But then wouldn't the hostages have seen it? The hostages are really suspect. How do they miss so much? It's time for their second big choice. Wouldn't it oh. be best to call the police? Things are still unfolding. The investigators can get to the bottom of this case. Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's no immediate threat right now. It seems like it's done. So why... Why do they need to play detective? We'll just force them to start talking! Do not let Bakugo do investigations anymore. He could have just escaped with the goods earlier. Uh-huh. So then, why did he stay? Midnight, it was you. Uh, 
You knew the man on the floor before this incident, didn't you? And not just as an acquaintance. Oh. You knew he committed crimes. It's getting spicy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. You decided to go in yourself. It is getting spicy. I knew it. Yeah, there we go. Spice it up, Midnight. Even so, the villain continued the robbery and tied you up like the others. That was a very spicy tie-up. <laughs> No matter how many times you tried to convince him to step away from crime, he wouldn't. They could made a lot of leaps there. It turned out to be right, I guess. Why would she kill the villain? He's not dead. This is not him trying to change her. This is an escape plan. She's an accomplice. He refused to be taken alive. Not quite. I think he was worried about something else. If he was caught by the police, his relationship with Midnight might have been exposed, putting her in all sorts of trouble. If that had happened, a dark shadow would have fallen over Can the rest of Can we just, you know, life. take a moment to appreciate the teachers and their acting skills? <laughs> They're really giving their all to this assignment. Midnight didn't say anything because she realized what he was thinking when he took Is his Is this life. how he saved the world with love? Midnight and the villain were that in love? Did you see the way he put her in a rope? The robber was trying to save Midnight because deep in his villainous heart, he loved her as well. <laughs> deep in his villainous they were heart. They both just trying to look out for each other. This is the truth behind the attack in the jewelry store. There's a twist. You're almost there, Deku. That's enough. Oh, this was so fun! What a 180! Wait, but they didn't they didn't crack the case, did they? Did they crack the case? Is that what happened? It was smart work getting to that conclusion by asking a logical series of questions. Wow! Praise from Mr. Aizawa! That is Extremely a pretty well big done, deal. Midoriya. Put that on the refrigerator but if you can. Perfect. You six overlooked one major thing. You killed all the police officers. Therefore, you earned. Expulsion. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. Who just passed Aizawa's test, huh? Huh? You were all under the assumption that the villain was a corpse, so you didn't tie him up. What can I say? What can I say? I may not have cracked the romance angle, but I, I, I give myself an A. <laughs> Which in Aizawa's metric is probably five points. I get a five on the exam. He tried to help you when Asui tickled his nose. <laughs> he reacted, didn't he? Yeah. Honestly, it's understandable, though. Like, they're trying to suspend his belief. They know it's their teachers. What are you supposed to do? Are they supposed to, like, stop breathing as part of the acting assignment? Midnight misunderstood and thought he did everything because he wanted to protect her Or, or, was she playing along with it? This is how you save the world with love? I feel like we've made the world worse through love, somehow. <laughs> Just keep Baku Bakugo away from these exercises in real life. I'm writing you because I Expo will be held in I Island City. And well, movie preview. <laughs> Movie plug. Can you imagine the look on his face when he sees you again? I don't need to imagine. I've seen two heroes. The movie. The reaction videos that nobody will ever see since they were copyright claim to Oblivion. So much for <laughs> All Might's America arc. Where is that movie? I am here! Waiting to ambush young Midori on his <laughs> These are some of the great greatest entrances of All Might so far. This episode. You're doing it for me? Are you sure about this? And for Melissa. <laughs> and for that sweet, sweet beach island Let's vacation then you better run up to your room and pack your bags right away so we can jet can't keep the plane waiting could you imagine how amazing that must have been to hear all might just picks you up or ambushes you for a vacation a solo vacation doesn't get a whole lot better than that Young Midoriya, did you enjoy this my episode as a criminal? has an end credit scene of all episodes such a sucker for love stories well, it, wasn't <laughs> it wasn't really story. yeah but yeah more and it wasn't really about all might island really soon aren't we What's it like over there, All Might? You'll see, but only if you watch the, the movie. The movie. <laughs> I respect it. I respect the, the directness. Academia. academia? Is that how you say it? <laughs> I have learned something today. They might fail miserably. Anyway, it's exciting. Thank you so much Gets the people riled the up. You are the real heroes. No, thank you. You ready, kid? You are the real heroes. Let's say it together. Go beyond. Plus, Plus ultra. ultra. Yes, I'm five years old now. Well, that was uh, certainly an episode. <laughs> it, it wasn't uh, the deepest episode. It wasn't story connected, but it was still fun. I mean, in its way, even though it was a hero exercise, it felt more like a slice of life episode. It was more comedic, I'd say. What did we learn? Um, not sure. <laughs> we learned that All Might likes to sneak into the back door. We also learned he has cool email notifications. And... Gee, <laughs> coming up a little short here. Keep Bakugo away from hostage situations, unless you want all the police to die. I'll turn the question to you guys. <laughs> what do you think is the takeaway from this episode? It certainly wasn't how to save the world with love, like I was hoping, although that was kind of an ambitious goal. But yeah, that's the end of episode 20, save the world with love. We are quickly approaching 
the end of season three, amazingly. I will see you next time for Orca Gang's utter, utter destruction of, of everything the students cherish.